I woke up at 4 a.m. I went to bed around 9 just to report that. Yesterday, April 8th at 9, there was combat and murders that took place upstairs and in the kitchen. It wasn't 9, it was 10. They woke me up, 10 or 11. I woke up. You wake up to this. I'm not going to describe this anymore. I'm belittling myself. You wake up to that kind of ruckus. I went to sleep. I wake up at four. The shop upstairs is fully open. There's multiple terrorists in this house at 4 a.m. After I enter my room, the TV was already running, but then it goes up twice as loud. You know the deal. We can do a pop quiz. The TV then, as I made coffee and do things, anything in there goes up, down, up, down. These terrorists are protected by the United States government. They're criminally insane. They're on crystal meth. They absolutely never sleep. They think they're uh, taking over the entire world with the Saudi Arabian prince. They're in an ISIS terrorist cell. I go out at 5 a.m. when it is safe, finally safe to step out of my room. The house is pitch black from the floor one, all the way up to floor three. There's still that little bit of light that the ISIS terrorist has up there. Otherwise, all floors are pitch black, my floor, and floor one, the house is pitch black. I do not need to describe this anymore, what that looks like. Thank you very much. The house is ice cold. There's windows open. It's, it's time for a coat as soon as you're standing there. And with the ice cold and the windows, it's level four dead, rotting, exhuming corpses. Level four, again. Poop, gases, just dead bodies. Fresh kill. That is this house. The military officials who protect me in here and make it so I can sleep know that. I witnessed the murders. This house is for bomb making and human remains and killing them. The toilet flushes and flushes and flushes and flushes. It's a major part of this. When I exited the bathroom after flushing, the TV had turned down. Although when I had exited my bedroom, the TV was blasting out from an open door on floor three with dead bodies just stinking the fucking place up to high hell. I'm talking level four, stunts. TV blasting stereo fucking loud. Into a dark house at four and five in the morning. He'd been doing this all morning. The stereo max volume had been running for at least an hour. You could hear terrorists going in and out of cubby hole doors upstairs in the murder room. <sighs> By the time I exited the bathroom, the TV had been turned down. There was at that point a terrorist back into the terrorist cell. But it was still blasting. It had only been turned down just a tiny bit. I come back in here, all you hear is the TV in my extra room. 
That is the fabric of Washington, D.C. The people walk by here proud of this. It is perfectly okay with them. My stool is still jet black. It's going to take a day or two to recover from the poison that they give me. I have yet to see these terrorists arrested or this house searched. And before I leave here, whether that is to be in a tent, begging for money on the street, or back in another crack house, because the United States refuses to give me a job, even though I'm at the point now where I can hardly speak straight, No matter the case or the condition I am in, I will fucking rip your terrorist cell to fucking shreds. As for now, I'm sitting here nice and pretty. <laughs>